when you are dedicated, I promise you, I completely promise you that everything else is just like a blur. You get tunnel vision. It's called hyper focus. Hyper focus isn't sitting there and be like, oh my God, I'm focused, blah, blah, blah. Hyper focus is if somebody comes up to you and they talk to you, you don't even know that person is there. Yo, what is going on, Tiggs? Welcome back to another reaction, review, commentary, whichever one you would like to consider. So J-Hope, my boy, just came back with a new video. I think Jack in the Box is releasing today, July 14th, July 15th. I'm not too certain. Um, I gotta double check. But J-Hope just dropped our sin official music video. I woke up like seven minutes ago to this notification. I am excited. Um, the first thing I do want to point out is that this gave me hella August D give it to me vibes. Um, if you guys remember August D's give it to me, I made a reaction video to that not too long ago. Actually, it was a <laughs> it was a bit ago. <laughs> it was a bit ago. So if you want to go watch August D give it to me a music video reaction, I do have that on the channel somewhere. So go look for that. Uh, but anyways, we have J-Hope, our Sin official music video. Let's hop into this one. Let's go. What I'm going to do for this video here, I'm going to do a full listen through. And then we're going to go back again. We're going to do a listen through again. And I'm going to pause more, commentate every now and then. And we're going to talk about it more, you know? J Hope is in his he's in, he's deep in the box right now. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Reversing. Ah. Let's burn. Burn. Ah. Burn. 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 Instrumental is a bit grimy. I'm liking it. First of all, let me talk about it real quick. The number one thing I want to point out is, you know, before I go into these reaction videos, I'll play like two, three seconds um, just for a heads up. You know what I mean? Not not all the time, but every now and then they'll play automatically because it's YouTube. YouTube does play whenever it wants to play. And the first thing I wanted to point out was I did not think the song was going to go in the direction that I thought it was. It was really, 
it was okay when I first heard like the first two, three seconds. And then I went into the full reaction and my guy came in with all these different flows and all these different rhyme schemes and the shit hit different, my boy. It hit different. So what we're going to do now, we're going to dive into the reaction. Uh, we're going to commentate over this one. Uh, I'm going to pause a lot more. We're going to read the lyrics and we're going to deep dive into it. And then we're going to go into a deeper section of the review section at the end of the video. So let's hop back into it because I didn't pay much attention to the lyrics the first run around. So we're going to do that for this one. Let's go. Let's do the, let's do the, can I do? Okay. So he's, he's like reversing the arson right here. This kind of reminds me of Terror Man. If you guys remember Terror Man, the manual, let me see if you guys, let me see if you guys are educated real quick. <laughs> Terror Man. The manual. If any one of you guys, if any of you know this manual, bro, this shit was heat. This shit was absolutely fire. Terror Man was a goaded mono. It's ideally about a man who goes around pretending um, to create all of this terror, but he's actually low-key saving people. So he's he's like his own worst enemy, if it makes sense. And that's what J-Hope's arson is kind of giving me right now. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. Ah. I'm pretty sure August yeah. these gave it to me could fit over this as well. Ah. Hey, 94 in the background. Hey, ah. Ah, so he, he's talking about the fuel, the fire to his ambition. Like every day he was burning this. I was burning my life. I was born, burning the money. I was burning the course of wherever I was going. Back then I burned it all. Okay, so it's kind of like he's talking about his greed, the greed that he once felt, that ambition. When you're hungry for something, when you are absolutely hungry for reaching a goal, it's like everything in your path is just parted. You know what I mean? That's what it's kind of giving me right here in this music video. All the cars are set to the side. All the chaos is going around, but he's just focused on the one goal where he wants to go, which is forward. And that's a lot like what ambition is. When you are dedicated, I promise you, I completely promise you that everything else is just like a blur. You get tunnel vision. It's called hyper focus. Hyper focus isn't sitting there and be like, oh my God, I'm focused, blah, blah, blah. Hyper focus is if somebody comes up to you and they talk to you, you don't even know that person is there. And that's kind of what it feels like he's talking about right here. He has that ambition when he was younger. He felt that. Okay. Yeah. Motivation behind my thoughtless ambition. Oh. Ah. Oh, I love this part, bro. The staccato. The thing, the thing that I really like about uh, J-Hope recently with this whole Jack in the Box thing is how much he's taken his filter off. You know what I mean? Back in songs with Airplane, uh, maybe Chicken Noodle Soup, it, it, it was more friendly. You know what I mean? But it seemed like there was this new Jack in the Box feeling. He's really going into his darker side. Um, it's like he did a complete flip. You know what I mean? I wish I wish we had like an alternate name for J-Hope, like a darker name for J-Hope. That would be cool as shit. Like, you know how August D turned into Sugar, Sugar turns back into August D. That would be cool. But J-Hope is J-Hope. I'm going to give that to him. I don't know if you guys are interested in that title. But man, bro, J-Hope is doing a full 180 on his personality. He's swearing so thoughtlessly. He's just going in. Fuck. Ah. If anybody asked me, I lit the flame. He is, he's the definition of terror man right now, bro. <laughs> hey. You know that philosophy when you're burned by your own flame? I feel like that's exactly what just happened. He lit the flame, but it also burned him. Now that everything's gone, he still has the remnants of the burns on him. It's like a double-edged, it's like a double-edged sword. It's like a double-edged sword. In the same context, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
Ah. I'm pretty sure I've seen those cranes and stuff in a previous video. You see, that's that's the cool context that he's talking about. He said, th "There's fire going on." Of course, when you think of fire, you think that, "Oh my God, um, get the fire police, get get whoever can put out the fire." But he's saying only he can put out the fire that he lit. He lit the fire. He lit that fuse, and he's the only one who can put it out. Oftentimes, individuals get caught up in their minds. You know, they get caught up in a philosophy that construes and just changes their entire outlook on life, and unknowingly, you burn a fire within you. Oftentimes, I say this, like, if you're on social media, if you're constantly watching videos, your mind is already fucked up. Your attention span is already fucked up. That's a fire that this generation has lit. You know, our generation has lit the fire of fucking up our attention span. And the only way to get back from that is isolating yourself from social media, isolating yourself uh, from these apps, you know, from anything revolving your phone that is too nuanced. You know what I mean? You lit that fire within your mind when you decided to deep dive into YouTube, deep dive into Netflix. It became a habit. That is the fire that you lit. I don't know the context of what J-Hope is talking about, but he lit this fire um, of ambition. You know, the, the fire of ambition was within him that he became so blinded by everything around him. And he's saying he's the only one who can fucking put that fire out. I really like that notion. And I really like what he's getting at there. It's very, very impressive. Hold on. Do you notice how the speed limit changed too? It went from 90 to 60, so things are slowing down a bit. There wasn't much CGI, but this is crazy. Ah. Do I put out the fire or burn it even um farther or something like that? What do you say? Hold on. Now I ask myself, choose what? Do I put out the fire or burn even brighter? You know one thing that I, I heard this. I forgot who said this, but after I heard this philosophy it kind of changed my perspective when you are on the highway when you are driving you know when you are accelerating to 90 or when you are accelerating to 100 it seems so fucking fast you know what i mean but when you are already at 100 when you are just traveling at 100 it seems very normal and why is that we're addicted to the rush that we get from jumping from one step of life to the other step of life but when you're already traveling at that pace it's kind of like you've adapted and settled I feel like J-Hope in this is kind of addicted to the adrenaline rush that you get from accelerating from 50 to maybe 100. You know, he gets the rush from traveling to 100. But when he's already at 100, he's kind of just chill. You know what I mean? I, ho I hope you guys are getting what I'm saying right there. And maybe it's not too confusing. But that's what I'm getting from Arson. You're playing with fire, my guy. Ah. Mm. I kind of wonder why he's sitting in the S like that. I don't know. If you guys don't, do let me know in the comment section below. But let's hop into this conversation. Let's talk about this. Okay. Arson. Very impressive track. Um, a lot of philosophies in that that we could have probably broken down. But then again, I don't know everything that goes on in J-Hope's mind. In recent days, he seems like he really is a jack-in-the-box. You don't know what they're going to do. You don't know when they're going to pop out that shit. But he came out. Arson was a fun track. You know, cinematically, it was very pleasing. Uh, the slow movement, of uh, the slow panning, the slow movements of the camera. Very interesting to watch. Very interesting to listen to, especially the audio. I'm pretty sure it was at the same tempo as August D. Give It To Me, which I said earlier. Let me actually play that for you guys. And you guys tell me. Okay. Da, 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 da. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has a lot more samples on it, but I feel like that da, 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 could fit over this part right here. Listen. 
I do feel like that tempo could fit over one another. Whose house is that in the background? I'm I'm not too certain about that. Is that J Hope's house? Why is his house the only thing that's not burning? That that's a bit of confusion for me, but I'm not gonna dive into that because I don't know what it relates to. You know what I mean? But anyways, takes do let me know how you guys felt about the song. You know, it was a very interesting vibe. He came out with a different flow here, the staccato. Um flow was interesting as fuck. Uh, I, I don't really want to say that, wow, this is my favorite J-Hope song once again. Like, J-Hope has a ton of music out there that is very beautiful, very fun to listen to. This was an interesting art project, if I was going to say that. This is something I would see, quote-unquote, in a museum. You know what I mean? There's different types of music that I feel like people do not understand. There is music that is made to be perceived in an artistic manner, and then there is good music for the ears. You know what I mean? And everybody's perception of music is very, very different. My perception of music is not going to be the same as yours. His perception of music is not going to be the same as yours and vice versa. You know what I mean? But this was not a song I'm, I would catch myself listening to over and over and over and over and over again. I listened to it once. Amazing. You know, art project. I'd probably come back to it every now and then to appreciate it for what it was. But it wasn't something that I'm going to be like, oh, my God. It was so good. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was good, but it wasn't so good. You know? But anyways, guys, that was J-Hope. Um... Arson, that shit hit like a truck. Truck, can Why you got it? It's got me. <laughs> Anyways, Tiggs, as I always say, for those of you guys who did enjoy the reaction video, do hit that subscribe button, comment your favorite part of the video. Um, let me know how you guys felt about it and what your favorite, favorite, favorite part of this was. If you do have a favorite J-Hope song, do let me know that in the comment section as well. But as always, remember, stay present, remain present, because present moment is all you have, so enjoy it while you can.